everywhere you look, there's inspiration for the garden. I like to think of the world as one big Pinterest board. And sometimes you find that inspiration in the most unlikely places. Like right here, this is Loop. It's a creative art space of rooftop cocktail bar and it pushes the limits of what's possible with plants. It all starts outside with this jaw-dropping vertical garden, which features over a thousand plants. Now, this is actually a north-facing wall, so it might surprise you to learn that most of the plants that are featured here are actually shade lovers or understory plants. But what's happening is that those more vigorous growers at the top, like the philodendrons, monsteras, and bromeliads, are actually protecting the plants below. So what we're seeing is this wonderful layering effect, similar to what you might see in a natural forest. And then those hanging plants like ripsalis and air aerial roots from philodendron xanadu just provide extra drama. Now this is just amazing but there's plenty more to see inside. This ground floor space has been a hub for local musicians, artists and DJs for years, but it's the magnificent hanging baskets which provide the green inspiration. Now most houseplants would be used to dealing with low light, but this has got a kind of dark, moody atmosphere, so the plants that live here have to be really tough, which means you'll find some of those really beautiful plants that you grow at home, like spider plants, monstera, boston ferns. When it comes to watering, what they've done is these rattan hanging baskets have actually been lined with plastic and then holes punched into it for drainage. So that helps to conserve moisture. And then the potting mix that's used contains a little bit of perlite, which makes the mix nice and light and helps to hold moisture around the root zone. And water that drains through is collected in buckets to reuse on the rest of the garden. Now we're three levels up on the rooftop and it's just magnificent. So if you're creating a rooftop garden like this, it's all about working with the different microclimates. So for example, if you're out here, you're exposed to the sun, particularly in the heat of the day, the plants need to be really tough. So you'll find everything from spiky succulents and cacti right through to the good old Australian woolly bush, which is robust and beautiful. And then if you look up, you can see the beautiful ornamental grapevine growing over these cables. So this is a variety called Crimson Glory, which goes a magnificent red colour in the autumn time. And being a deciduous vine, it allows the winter sun through, but then provides much needed shade in the summer. And if you move across here to undercover, the planting palette changes again. So you might spot some shade lovers, like the gorgeous Plectranthus under here, alongside some of your favourite house plants, like the String of Pearls and the beautiful Chain of Hearts. All over, the effect is just beautiful. small space it's always nice to introduce a little bit of height and scale with some feature trees and this is the tree aloe so it's got striking architectural form and over time it forms a magnificent tree base you'll also find the silk floss tree which has a really distinctive thorny trunk Adam great place you've got here thank you um, what motivated you to make it so green oh well, I guess I thought that um you know, in the CBD, there was a lack of genuine garden space and rooftops. What we wanted to do was create a genuine garden space with the gardens as front and centre and as a feature and a niche so that people, Melbourne people, could stumble upon a sort of genuine garden oasis. The hanging baskets in the ground level are looking fantastic. How do you keep them looking so green and lush? Um, well, they're aided primarily by a, a, a fairly complex and intricate LED uh, grid plant lighting system from Holland. These systems are often used to light commercial tulip farms. Hi, Melissa. I thought you might care for one of our cocktail specials to finish the day. I would. Thank you. So what is this? So this is from our Loop Elixir range. It's called the uh, Queen of the Night. And it's a drink based on our sprawling cacti plant that flowers once a year called the Queen of the Night. So this is like a little taste of the garden. Well, I can't think of a better place to be than right here, right now, drinking this with you. So cheers. cheers Thanks Mel. for having us. Thanks for coming in.